going on guys? Lyndon SD live here in the coffee shop and we're actually going to be talking breakfast cereal today. Yeah, right, before we get in there though, please consider liking the video, hit a sub there if you can and uh, share out as well. Let's uh, get the, as much visibility here as possible. So if you're like me, a lot of times, first meal of the day, breakfast, you're looking for something. A lot of days for me, that's a uh, bowl of cereal. However, being type 2 diabetic, a lot of what's there on the market, pretty much taboo because of all the sugars. I mean, you look at those... Uh, Amounts of sugar on the average bowl of, say, Frosted Flakes. It is not a good thing. So, I purchased a six-pack of cereals from a company called Magic Spoon. Now, these guys, they describe themselves as the high-protein Keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown-ups. So, six various flavors here. And, again, full disclosure, I purchased these with my own money. No compensation from Magic Spoon at all completely honest review of this stuff. Now, the first box I have here is Frosted. Oh, the green screen loves that. So I'm just going to pour a few into the bowl, get a little milk on there. Now, these cereals are a, a little more expensive, but Considering uh, what they're doing, it's, I'd say, warranted. Don't you just love heat seals? There we go. Ooh, you can smell the, the frosting. There's the cereal itself right there. Little kind of O's. And just get a few in there. And a little splash of milk. Can't go. No, so don't pour the milk first before putting the cereal in. That's just rude. <laughs> right. Let's uh, check these out. Okay. Ah, hmm. All right. Not bad. There's a. You don't get a lot of the frosting flavor on there. But overall, it didn't taste too bad. Now, next one on the list blueberry muffin. Maybe should just be using scissors for this, but oh well. There we go. 
Looks like a fair bit of blueberry in there, I gotta say. And if at the end of this video you are interested in checking these guys out for yourself, it's uh, very simple, magicspoon.com. Hmm. All right, yeah. Fair bit of blueberry flavor in there. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, that one was good. I like it. Third one. Cinnamon roll. And yeah, he is riding a Godzilla. Very interesting artwork. And they give some information on the back here, too, comparing to uh, other cereals. Green screen kind of blotting out some of it, but so comparing this to say cinnamon roll closest to this would be like cinnamon toast crunch. They have two grams of protein, thirty-one grams net carbs, twelve grams of sugar, not grain free. Or gluten-free, which definitely an issue for those that uh, have those allergies. Meantime, the Magic Spoon, 12 grams of protein, only 4 grams of net carbs, no sugars at all. According to the ingredients list, the, uh, for the uh, sweetness, oh, pardon me. They use a mix of allulose and monk fruit extract. And monk fruit has been used as a natural alternative to sugar and shown to not affect diabetes. So, or rather not spike things, if anything, may actually help lower. Smells good. Couple of spoonfuls. All right. I, I maybe put enough milk here to do with all six samples. Yeah, this is all right, too. You get that hint of cinnamon, not overpowered. Overall, I think we are three for three. Now... Box number four, tailoring to the uh, Canadians in the audience, perhaps, Maple Waffle. <laughs> Get a grip. Ooh. 
Ooh, you can smell it. Well, I had a little hint of the uh, maple flavor. You get more smell smell when you open the box and the taste, to be honest. But then again, you don't want it to be overpowering, do you? Number five. Birthday cake. So yeah, the O's have a little colored sprinkle look on them. Yep. This bag opened up a lot easier than others. Hmm. Yeah, these are pretty good. A little hints of a uh, vanilla frosting from a birthday cake sort of thing. And... Last one of the selection I picked out. They have more than just the six. Honey nut. So a little healthier alternative to the uh, honey nut Cheerios. Closed up and there we go. No. A bit light on the uh, honey flavor, perhaps, but still a uh, very decent uh, cereal. So, overall, I'm thinking I would suggest checking them out. Look at all their variety, see what you think uh, suits you. They do have one-time purchase as well as subscription. They also have uh, treats available too, made out of the cereal. Like, uh, same idea as uh, Rice Krispie Treat Bars. So that's an option as well for folks. They are based in the U.S., 
But overall, definitely, I say, give them a shot. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And we'll, I'll be streaming live on uh, YouTube. They're all through pretty much six to seven days a week. So please consider subscribing. There we do a lot of different games as well as these occasional reviews. Till next time, the coffee shop's closed and the motto, as always, death before a decaf. Thanks for watching all.